in the video before, I talked about how there was two approaches, and the first approach is, is snooping on other lesser-known stores and, and testing products from their stores, but the approach number two is for more advanced people, and that's if you want to find um, products that no one is really testing. And it's, not, it's sort of not like a me too approach. It's if you want to go out, out and test those, those unique products that haven't been proven yet. Um, but this is a list basically. I'm not going to go through all of, all of these, but this is basically a list here where I'll get my VA to, to go and find products on, on these sites. And then if they find products on these sites, I'll then tell my VA to go and see if, if, a, their, if that product or a variant of that profit of that product is offered on AliExpress. Um, so usually like a lot of the times say for like Indiegogo and Kickstarter, usually if there's products there, those products are like a, are ahead of the curve. So if you go into AliExpress, you're not gonna find Indiegogo and Kickstarter products on there, but sometimes there's variants of those products. So I mean, this is a good place to, to, to go and look at, um, at top trending products right now, um, if you want some new ideas. So when I find a good product here that I wanna test, I'll often go on to AliExpress, but if I find the product on AliExpress, you don't want the product to have a high number of orders, right? So the whole point of going to these sites is to find unsaturated products. So if you go into AliExpress and you see like a product here from these sites that's sold on AliExpress and it has a high number of orders, it's likely that someone scaled it already and exhausted the audience. So if you're looking for like really new products that other stores aren't testing, um, go to these sites and have a look if they're on AliExpress and if they have a low number of orders, I definitely recommend testing them.